Hello kids, this is Sir Mac. Today our topic is magnetism. Magnetism is due to spin of charges or movement of charges that causes a magnetic field. There are two poles in a magnet, a north pole and a south pole. Like poles always repel each other. For example, if I bring two south, they will experience repulsion. And unlike poles always attract one another. If I bring north and south together, they will attract each other. This depends on two things, the combined strength of both magnets and the distance between the magnets. If the distance is less, the force will be strong. And if the distance is more, the force will be weak. There are two types of material magnetically. Non-magnetic materials and magnetic materials. Non-magnetic materials, all domains are randomized, pointing here and there. But in magnetic materials, all domains are aligned in one direction, pointing in one direction. For example, some non-magnetic materials are aluminium, copper, silver. They never become magnets. And some magnetic materials are steel, iron, cobalt. They can become magnets. Even these magnetic materials can be classified in two different ways. First are the soft magnetic materials and the second are the hard magnetic materials. In soft magnetic materials, they are easy to magnetize and demagnetize. They are temporary magnets. On the other hand, in hard magnetic material, they are difficult to magnetize and demagnetize and they are permanent magnets. Magnetic field is a region where a magnet or a magnetic material experiences a force. They are always in a direction from North Pole to South Pole. While drawing a magnetic field, you should keep two things in mind. First, that the gap between the field lines must increase. This shows the decreased strength of the field. You can observe in the picture that the gaps between the lines is increasing as the lines move away. Secondly, when we bring two light poles together, for example a north and a north pole, the field lines go away from one another. And there is a point in the middle that is known as a null point where there is no magnetic field. There are two methods of drawing a magnetic field. First method is called a compass method. We place a compass near the edge of the magnet. We play, put a point where the needle directs. We repeat this experiment, placing, replacing the compass on each point. And after that, we join all the dots together so that the field can create it. This gives us the perfect drawing of a magnetic field. The second method is the iron fillings method. We place a magnet below a card sheet and sprinkle iron fillings over it. Tap the card sheet slightly so that the iron fillings can displace and take the position of the magnetic field. This method only gives us the shape of the magnetic field.